Hi, this is DH Dunn, and welcome to Darkest Dungeon. And here we go. We keep at it. We keep moving forward, sort of. Maybe a, a one step forward, two steps My back situation lately. This great foulness, and it is shameful that I must rely <laughs> upon you to set it right. <laughs> I completely forgot that I got Harab Jr. <laughs> That I purged that from my mind utterly, and I just saw that. I'm like, oh my god, I forgot I did that. So, before we get into things, not gonna do the big flagellant to make a Darkest Dungeon joke uh, roll here and rake myself over the coals over Odin. I'm simply gonna speak my mind on where we're going with this series. Um, so, I am a, what I like to think is uh, a tactical strategy game player. Uh, I tend to go into situations without a lot of advanced planning. And then I just count on my ability to make good choices and good decisions. Stop laughing. Good choices and good decisions a high percentage of the time to get me through. I feel like at the lower levels of Darkest Dungeon, this works. But I think once you hit the bosses of the mid-range, and even the general missions of the champion and whatever they call level 6, no more is this true. I think that more uh, advanced planning and uh, slow thinking will be required. So if you are watching this, then you are 35 episodes in. You have some level of investment in either <laughs> comedically watching me fail or hoping I'll find a way to succeed. So I think that I can succeed, but in order to do so, I have to do some things I haven't done to this point. I am not going to go online and read guides and watch tips, and I'm not doing that. But I do think I may have to spend more time on the minus ones and the plus ones of the situations and spend a little bit more time talking out and thinking about what's the best way to use something, what's the best group to take, etc. To this point, uh, I have mostly approached our party construction with basically putting people into three roles, healer, tank, and damage dealers. I suppose I've somewhat understood that some characters are support characters, but that kind of falls into the healer category. You know, Odin, may he rest in peace, was a healer. He was a stress healer. He needed to do significant damage, much more than a Vestal, but uh, he was still mostly there to make sure that our guys didn't stress out like crazy. And I recognize that for the higher level missions, having a stress healer is going to be important, or people who can stress heal themselves. Another aspect that I have not paid much attention to is stunning. Now, I have worked pretty hard on positioning, not on my own team, but uh, in pulling the enemy team out of position. But I tend to not really look and see if like a party is going to have a good utility if they get scrambled, etc. So basically, I have to sacrifice pacing, not pacing, my friend. You're OK. This guy here. Hey, saying he's okay. We're talking about pacing. I have to sacrifice pacing a bit. I have to slow down a bit. I have to look at more stuff, read more things. I'm going to try that. I'm not necessarily good at doing things that way. But I think if we want to succeed, I'm going to have to start approaching things a bit more slowly. So having said all of that... Let's look at the stagecoach. The only thing I would be interested in picking up is a replacement for the speaker. I don't see that there. So if we embark, we were talking about taking this group out to do... It looks like we were going to go do the siren. I don't think that was true. Um, I think we were going to do a short, this short mission. And I feel like on a short mission, that's probably fine. I think the missions we need to prepare for are any red missions and any boss missions. 
So I'm okay with taking this particular group out as is, and then we will do a little reevaluation. Now, they're dinging me about the trinkets. And I find the whole trinket thing to be a bit overwhelming. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to bring any, any extra trinkets, but I am going to look at the enemies on this run. I'm going to outfit us just as I always did. Um, but I'm going to pay a little bit more attention to the enemies, what types they are, how they work in various positions, and we'll see if I pick anything up. So I gave a big speech about how I want to spend more time thinking about what I'm going to do, and then I jumped right in. But you know, I had already set this one up. And you know, we've got Drew and Silne, and this is a mid-tier. Okay, so this is 90% of rooms. So we can do all but one. So no matter what we do, we're going to have to backtrack a couple times here. It's okay. I probably should learn the curios. Because some of the curios, I believe, do healing and stress healing. And um, we should experiment with those more. It's definitely going to benefit us to uh, level up Marin as well. Okay, well, that's one room down. But our, and that's in the meta. In the micro, uh, our goal today is to have no one die. I think if nobody dies today, hey, we got the job done. Go ahead, Drew. Check the empty crate if you need to. It's all right. Let's not linger, says Silne. I can't show it. Could be a while before I can show it, but uh, Silne just got a cover. Uh, so Silne has her own significant story coming up. And she will be a cover girl. Uh along with our other cover girls and our cover boy Drew. And she's definitely the most significant character to not get a cover to this point. Uh, I was in a auction for uh, pre-made covers and the one came across that just looked exactly like Silne to me and I said, you know what, we've gotta, we've gotta check that out. If only okay, so there was treasure in there, but does it do anything, or does it just have treasure? Corruption. All right, we're moving on, we're moving on. Okay, this thing. A rusty Iron Maiden stands against the wall, clasped shut. Would you open it with a key? No. Would you open it with a shovel? No. Would you... Would you open it with... This? No. Would you open it with this? No. Would you open it with a torch? No. Okay, so none of those things worked. So we'll just open it. <laughs> and it made Drew claustrophobic. Which is exactly what happened the last time we put someone in it. Maybe that thing has no upside. Even the now, we used one of our two shovels on that. Preventing passage. But I'm trying to learn. I do want to beat Darkest Dungeon. That is a goal. Because I have another game I want to play. And I don't think I can do that until I beat this. Okay, well now that's open, so we can't mess with it again. So far on the combat side, this has been nicely, uh, nicely pleasant. Okay. Well, Drew touches everything anyway. But I don't get to check them. Here's a trap. Marin can get the trap. There you go, Marin. Good job. And on we go. Okay, we got a scout that should clear our remaining rooms. It does. Boy, we are... I didn't want to be that zoomed out. I'm in a bit. Okay. Little uh, torch action, if you please. I might have wanted to bring a little bit more than I did. But I had to do more backtracking here than I had counted on. Okay, no one touched that. Let me guide you through. Drew. Touch it. Their volumes are dull and uninteresting. Okay. A fight. 
A drink of water. Okay, four spiders. Now we can see that when Nima is in the fourth spot, she can't do any attacks. She can only do her heals. What if we move her to the third spot? Now Drew can do all his stuff. He could do... He can't hit anything but the first two though. Another so let's just see if he can erase that one. Good job. Didn't even leave a corpse. Alright. So Silne's marked. She can't do her Iron Swan unless she's in the very front spot. Some of these I know, but I'm hoping by saying them out loud I won't forget them. Now, Marin is just as effective in the fourth spot as she is in the third. So that's good. So let's have her grenade the one in the back. That's a very strong blight that Marin does. That was a good hit. We're definitely going to need... Now, I, I was calling... I think I called Perry Nemo. Sorry, Perry. We'll do another blight here. Very good, Marin. All right, so let's get a heal on Silne. Silne, remember when you used to be on the damage board? That was a long time ago. Back to there we go. Pit. See, you do a mission like this, this and you feel like, oh, I'm indestructible. Why am I even sweating end. these things? Now, this is going to suck, but, you know, what are you going to do? Gotta go to that room. Actually, we didn't need to go to this room, but we're going to it anyway. Need to get the uh, get the treasure. All right, one of them is stealthed. Now, what I was gonna do, and I haven't done it yet, is I wanted to see what type of enemies these are. Are they eldritch? They are, well, that's a human, that's unholy. Okay. So, Marin, you're no good in the second spot at all. Now, this will move you forward, and I like it. Well done, Silne. All right, so let's get a heal on Marin from Perry. Right. And can you... No one can de-stealth that guy, I don't think. Can you take out... I guess your only real target is that guy. Good job. And I'm okay with these two getting hit. They're tough. Okay, definitely want to play grenade on the two in the back. That's good. Marin's Blight might be enough to kill the uh, Stress Witch there. Nope, almost little push and I feel like a party heal will be okay here can be healed, but never and then still they can move forward again that takes care of two drew can take out that guy now we're just down to the crossbow See, this all feels great, but you know, when you're doing level five and six missions, you're not uh, you're not out leveled. You know, you haven't out leveled your competition anymore. Wow, Marin can do some crazy damage her turn. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing her at higher levels. Destroy. All right, good job. Oh, there we go. Do -do -do. I think we're good. Let's head back. Set up for another one. Corridors and sloped walls of our ancestry are beginning to feel Importantly, familiar. Marin is level four now. Even That's excellent. Ah. Put them to work. All right, we can upgrade a building for free. Okay, Nima exits the brothel with a skip in her step. After a memorable evening, recovered 73 st uh, stress, Harab cured his syphilis and his vampiric spirits, 
we have a free building upgrade. And Marin is now level four. Okay, who's in the coach? Nobody I want. Okay. What would we use the free building upgrade on? We should use it on whatever is the most expensive. I mean, this would be the top level of armor smithing. I think, uh, I think I'm into that. Because that would have cost a lot. Okay, and how are we doing on stress here? Boys and girls, everybody's pretty good. Drew could use a disease cure. Let's go do that. We're not going to need Drew for a bit. Everybody else seems fine. Let's check and see what missions are available, and then we will talk about how to deal with them. So, uh, boy, that alluring siren has some interesting rewards to it, doesn't it? A plague doctor. This will be for Marin. Greater accuracy, greater stun, greater blight. More stress. Probably worth it for how strong that is. Uh, her blight is really, really good. So, if we were going to go after the alluring siren. First off, I would want to bring a team that could, you know, a team of fives and sixes. Um, my first instinct is, and I can't believe I'm going to say this, but my first instinct is to bring Harab over Nima because of his greater utility. Now, of course, we could bring them both. Uh, now, if you bring Carrix, what's best is if you can... Bring, now, here's what I'm thinking. I'm starting to get a team together here. So, if you can get a character here that can actually drop some marks on people. And I think Wanda can. Let's look at Wanda. Wanda... What are your abilities? You do have an ability to mark, we just don't have it. Let's see what it would take to get you that. Because if you can mark people, then Carrix does a lot more damage. Wanda, where are you? Wanda. Okay. I think it's this one here. Call the shot. Marks the target. It can be the third... The, the second, third, or fourth. What would we drop that in favor of? Uh, well, first off, we need to level up the one she is using. I guess we could drop in, in, uh, drop Buckshot in favor of this. And if we then look at Wanda, we can turn Buckshot off and turn Call the Shot on. Now we should look at Carrix to make sure. Now Carrix also has a mark option. And he has a stun. He does have this stun as well. Um, and it's actually better and it hits more. So that's fine. Finish him gives him crits against stun. I kind of like all of Carrick's abilities as they are. Harab, though. So we rarely use his sacrificial stab. The other options would be hands from the abyss, which can stun. Or abyssal artillery, which hits the back. But I feel like being able to stun... And this is another mark, so we have another way to mark. So if we go here, uh, let's turn this off and this on for his stun. Now, also in the team here is cell three. Now, pick to the face is armor piercing, but other than that, it's, it doesn't do anything excited. But thrown dagger does extra damage against marked and i could drop yeah i think that's more useful this is interesting too 
it cures her blight and her bleed. But I think, oh, I don't want to, you know, basically you've got two with self that you can't change. You need fade back and you need lunge. But I think if we were to try thrown dagger instead of, uh, uh, what is this? This one here, flashing daggers. So we try thrown dagger. So now we have a bunch of people who are ready for um, marked targets. Now, the other thing I'm thinking is I might want toxin trickery instead of this. We rarely use that. She Now she has another attack that hits the back. We're spending a lot of money, but that's okay because I'm going to sell some trinkets. So I think I'm going to try this one to sell three combat skills and turn this off and turn this on. So I think our main goal is going to be to uh, mark people as quickly as we can and then go crazy on the marked markedness. So let's sort our trink trinkets and anything that's not rare I'm just selling sell that sell that sell that sell that what's this now are any of these these help marked See, this is the thing is I, I oh, well we only have two antiquarians so you don't need three of those um, I don't want to make you guys just sit here and listen while I think all this through. I feel like that's bad pacing. All right, Carex, you already have two. Harab has one. Okay, so what could we put on Harab? They're showing us our options. This would lower his, his HP. It does damage against Eldritch, which I think is what we're fighting. Let's see, this is the camouflage close. We're gonna torch above 75, minus 20 stun resist, that's not great. Um, more HP, but lower death blow resist. This is extra damage, but minor, uh, less HP. This is for him. So it's more dodge. So if Harab hardly ever gets hit, I mean, that's that's good, right? Good for us. Okay, Carrick's already has two. Wanda has none. So let's look at Wanda here. So that's only for the leper. I don't know why they lit that up. I mean, what's her HP? 41? She'd lose eight. If they round up, she loses nine. We don't want blight resist. Uh calming crystal. I can hear that bell ringing in the background. I have such a hard time with anything that's going to lower my people's health. Plus 10 accuracy on range skills is good. A little bit less dodge. Her current dodge is 10. This makes her do better damage and more bleed resist. I'm going to go with that. All right. But I'm kind of loath to give her a second trinket. And then cell three already has two trinkets. All right, I think we're going to go with this. All right. So now we are going to do... Twenty food. So that we have the ability to heal off food if we need to. Gonna bring four of these in case we get um, get that horror stress attack. We're not here to uh, make money. Okay. In financial desperation, I struck a bargain with the ancient things that surfaced in search of sacrifice when the moon was right. Their price was the delivery of an obscure idol and one other item of more trouble in Portent. The pact struck. My newfound accomplices slipped silently beneath the brackish water. A fearful stirring at the edge of the torchlight betrayed a familiar witness. 
and gifted me with malign inspiration. I always wondered what became of the unfortunate little whiff. Well, the good news, as is often the case, is it's very easy to know where the boss is. One, two, no, it isn't. <laughs> the good news, as is often the case, is I'm an idiot. Uh, all the news is bad. There are three possible rooms the boss could be in. Two of them are this way. If we guess wrong, it's just the worst thing ever. But I'm going into this with an acknowledgement. It is better to retreat than lose a character. Very happy to get that extra food. We have two of our biggest damage dealers here. Mechanical hazards. Uh, Wanda is effect. incredibly reliable. And of course, we have the comedic stylings of one Harab. Okay, I'm immediately terrified. <laughs> ah. Okay, we're gonna fade back because that big boy needs a big hit to get rid of him. Now, did we bring anything that gets rid of stealth? No. So, uh, but we can do this and mark him. He didn't mark. She can get rid of stealth. There we go. But she's in a terrible spot. She can't actually do anything from that spot. And I said we would look at everybody's abilities and whether they could do anything from the spots that they were in. And then I didn't do it. Does intent count for anything? All right, good dodges, good dodges, people. Come on, we are gonna go through this boss fight, guys. We're gonna get there, but we're not gonna get summit fever. If it's not gonna happen, we're gonna back out. Okay, I think I can just erase this guy. I didn't erase him. That's very disappointing. Now I have to waste an attack on him. Confidence surges as the enemy Cell comes. three. You've let me down. Oh! Hold on there, Harab. Okay, we're gonna mark the big boy. Okay. Harab, we're not ready for the wheel o heal yet. Mark the back guy. Okay, we're getting everybody marked here. They're gonna punish you for that, Harab. A little bit, why? Why is Harab still so high already? 37 is excellent. Um, I'm actually thinking I want to go here. Very good. Nice hit, Wanda. Wow, where the hell did that come from? Ornaments. Neatly ordered. Who knew Wanda could hit so hard? Okay, now why the hell is Harab stressed out so much already? Okay, that room to the left is one of the few rooms we know the boss is not in. As the light gains purchase, what is up with Harab? That purpose is made clear. Like, did I need more problems with you? Okay, I can see two uses for our shovels already. That makes me nervous. But the boss is not in these rooms. Okay. Beep, 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 beep. We're backing up. Normally I don't do that, but we were close enough to the door. This is great. I feel like we can go a couple rooms and take a nice little break, little picnic, little nap in the tents, and then we'll be all good. Okay, now this is a thing that I want to know about. Will it heal Harab? A pool of water cupped in smooth stone. It's, oh, it's like slightly off. Uh, hey, the water is purified and cleanses the hero with a minor stress relief that's barely noticeable. Not a bunch of bullshit. Okay, guy in the middle. That's my target. Do I even bother to fade back? I'd rather she and Carex maybe take this guy out before... Ah, oh, Carex, you missed at the worst possible time. And here comes the stress on Harab, and he's marked. I actually think Harab needs to heal himself for 19 is good. 
There's the... Th Here we go with the Seaward Slash. Red for the old gods. Good dodge. Good dodge, Cell 3. Alright, I want to mark on this guy. Carrix, I want you to erase this fool. Cell 3. Erase him. There you go. Excellent. Don't push Carrix. He pushes back. Well, he pulls back, actually. He doesn't push back. Uh, not messing around with damage. Go, Harab. Excellent heal again. Oh! That's two misses in a row, Carrix. Not happy about that. Whoa, what the hell have we been feeding Wanda? She's gone crazy. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Wanda's trying to compete with Cell 3 here. Okay, mark that guy. Executed. And hooey! Alright, four is fine. Four is fine. It's a bit tis but a scrap. Thirty-one. I don't care about that thing. Well, I'll take it over this stupid paper. They can, man. I'm here to tell you. The way is lit. Okay, let's head the in. Path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. Oh, this thing. I forgot about this thing. Okay, well, first off, we were going to confirm they are Eldritch. Okay? So the cove has Eldritch people in it. And you know what? There's no law... Even though I said I wasn't going to look things up, there's nothing that says I can't write things down. Cove. Eldritch. 35 episodes I learned how to take notes. Okay, we're going to need to fade back to get rid of that big boy there. Which means Wanda's going to be basically useless. I hate this thing. I hate him, I hate him, I hate him, I hate him. And he freaking resisted. Give it a pull. Impressive. Good. A time to perform beyond uh, okay. Minutes. Fortunately, there was a stealth character there. Whoops. Bang the microphone. I'm sorry about that. Seaward slash. Ugh. Arterial pinch. Oh, it did one. Still, Carrix needs a heal. A stress wave. Thank you for dodging that, Harab. I think we need to camp fairly soon. Okay, here comes our lunge forward. The question is... Do we go here? Yeah. 26. Blow. Nicely done. Alright, Karis, you need to get rid of this guy. Thank you. Okay, and how about a heal on Karis, please, for three... Only when it's funny. Good hit, Wanda. Idle slam sounds bad, but it was a five. It's probably a stun, but she resisted it. Let's do a thrown dagger in the back. And she's gone. Okay, now we're just on to the big boy. This would mark him. And help uh, do more damage. Excellent. Uh, I'll take another heal on Carrick's, please, for 10. There we go. I think I just have to spin the wheel more often. This guy's got a lot of prod. Oh! Nice! Wanda! There you go, Carrick's. Okay. Let's investigate. It's trapped. Good. Good resist. So the only thing I don't like about our current setup is Car uh, excuse me, Harab's stealth. Uh, or excuse me, his stress. If not for that, I would, I would prefer to wait until the room right before the boss to camp. I, I feel like we might be able to sneak our way down there. You know, and certainly this is a risk-reward game, and I have a tendency to push things. 
to where the risk uh, level is too high. I don't want that. All right, two rooms away. Here's a scout. That's that's great news for us. Okay, the next room is empty. And then there's the boss. There's no fights between us and the boss. This is all good. We'll take that torch. Crack that torch. And there's a trap coming up that we can use to get a little stress heal on Harab. Here's the thing where we could have used the green stuff, but we don't have it. So instead, we gave Carrix the red plague. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Carrix. Okay, good. A little stress heal. And in we go. Little camp. Feeling okay. Gathered close go for the big. Firelight, and nice stress heals all around. Okay. Let's uh, do our camping skills. So, uh, I think Harab has the one that lets us avoid the ambush. Everybody else is fairly unstressed, so that's okay. I would like someone to de-stress Harab. Thank you. Now I'll take whoever has good buffs. This is how we do it on Carex. Sounds good. Cell 3, what do you have? Nothing. We probably should be investigating some of these camp skills, and maybe getting Cell 3 some better camp skills. Uh, yes. Buff yourself. And do we have a two? I'm going to say do this on Carex. I am blessed with good health for today, at least. This place is horrific. Even so, I am at ease. We are out of firewood. We must steal ourselves for a push to the end. In Radiance, may we find victory. All right, we are going to find victory. Soothing to the... Hey, stress heal for Carex. That was great. Coral gives you a stress heal. Good to know. Okay, crack off Light. all available the torches. Of we say a prayer to the darkest dungeon gods, and in we go. Alright, now I remember this girl image. takes your people yes, away. And Let's fade back. We want to get a mark on her as fast as possible. Uh, he can't mark. She is Eldritch. 179 hit points. A little bit less now. Let's hex her. Wanda will be useless. And she took Wanda. If she was going to take anybody, I think that's the one I would want her to take. Wanda can heal her for four. That's fine. Pressure crash. Stress, stress, stress. Okay, she's marked, though. So now we can do extra damage. 36. Great job, Carrots. Now here comes the lunge. 19. Cell 3, what happened? Uh, really, no one needs a heal. I'm going to hex her again. It's almost half. High tide. Oh, I figured she'd bring some jerk into the party. Oh, and uh, um, Wanda's getting stressed out. That's not good. Pressure crash. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, Wanda's back. Okay. Welcome back. Um, jump back again. What can Harab do at that distance? Probably nothing good. Oh, she's not marked anymore. Can we pull her forward? We can. Now, can you stun this guy? Harab! Doing a thing that is useful. 
Okay, come on, we're halfway there. 16. Song of Desire. Don't take cell three. Thank you for dodging. Here's a lunge for 35. Oh, guys, I'm feeling good. 23. Devour? Well, that sounds terrible. Okay. I was a little worried that she was going to eat someone. Good shot, Wanda. Does it all come down to Harab? No. He's gonna he's gonna hex her again. A barnacle barrier. Don't do that. Oh now you're guarding her? That sucks. Uh gotta jump back again. She's probably gonna try to steal somebody. Oh, she got cell three. Oh, so we resisted. Excellent. This is gonna do it. Nope, it didn't because of the stupid guard. This is my um, my memory is about nine seconds long. Apparently, we knew that was true. All right, so we're gonna have to kill that guy. Let's pull him forward. That failed. And yeah, Wanda is just always susceptible to that. I fight for love. Okay, don't heal for eight. That's actually legitimately annoying. All right, we're going to lunge forward. Nice. Carrix, can you finish that thing off, please? No. If you hit her, it'll go to him, so it still works. Rob, pull it. Pressure crash. You're okay. You're okay. Dodged it anyway. Little bit of damage now. Call the shot. Oh, that's her. She's marking. I'm like, what? what is call the shot? Hang on, guys. Hang on. We're almost there. We're, we're almost there. <laughs> the guard is gone. We have our shots. Oh... She got cell three this time. That's bad. Thank you, Harab, for dodging that. How funny would it be for Harab to die from one of our own guys? Like, they just got tired of his shit. Wanda stress is quite high. Um, I would like to do some damage here. Let's see if you can pull. Five is okay. Nice. I should have marked him. Oh, it's 16. Oh, wanted to do anything. Yes. We did it. We have done a boss fight without anyone dying. Ooh. Ooh. Done it. Guys, we did it. We did an entire episode without anybody dying. How amazing is that? And did we get a level up? I don't think so. They're close, though. Things are not as bad as they seem. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, let's check the board. Drew lost his vampiric spirits. Everybody had 200% stress heal. And uh, Carex, Harab, Wanda, and Selthry silenced the siren's call. We successfully managed to do an entire episode without anybody getting killed. Let's send our friends to some well-deserved stress relief. Uh, go ahead, Wanda. You've earned it. Whoops. A Rob. Forget the next thing. I can't unload the one. Gosh, gosh darn it, Harab. Even out of fights, you're annoying. Uh, this would increase stress recovery. Okay, we're not going to mess with that then. Then you will just wait, Harab. Uh, cell 3, you could use some disease curing. There we go. Alright, and who's on the who's on the coach? Um, I actually do want this person. But we're full. And so let's go back. And can we increase the uh, roster size? Okay. I do want this person. The raw strength of youth may be spent. But his eyes and this the secrets of a hundred campaigns. Is going to be Bert. Not Bert from Sesame Street. 
would rather Bert from Shopkeep, one of my short stories, which you can find on Story Origin or on my website. So uh, I wanted to get a group together that uh, was all short story people. So that would be Alex Queen, um, Drake the King, Bert, and then a fourth character that I have not been able to find yet. So when that one comes around, we'll, we'll do them. So uh, we'll pick our missions next time. I think perhaps that makes more sense than picking the mission at the end of the episode. I, I couldn't be happier with how this went, guys. Finally, things went nice and smooth. Smooth as butter. It was great. So uh, that's going to do it for tonight. Thanks very much for watching. Take care of each other. Stay safe. And I will see you next time.